Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason from Eustace Roofing. We're back on this log cabin. I was here yesterday showing you guys some problematic areas and how we deal with that. And then I kind of wanted to show you guys, we're making some more progress. I want to kind of show you what it looks like now. Uh, one of the things that I want to talk about is um, what steps that we take to ensure that you don't have problems in those problematic areas. So every step of the way, we're doing something to make sure, hey, if the water gets behind here, it's still watertight. So when we put our peeling sticks in here, and then when we put our base flashing in here and all those steps, we're making sure it's watertight. So then when we get closer to the finished project, we want to show you what that kind of looks like because we showed you what it looked like the other day when we were working on it and we had some uh, flashing going in and then we also had some peeling stick going in. So this is what it looks like now. If you look in here, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, you can see this is a really problematic area. You've got a transition flashing, you've got a wall flashing and going up and it's all three different areas here that have some flashing in it. Problematic area is what I call it. So we want to make sure that we take a lot of steps in this area to make sure you don't have any problems in the future. Because once again, if you're putting a lifetime roof on, you want to make sure that that roof is a lifetime roof. So we really think it's important when the customer trusts us with their job and making sure that it is what they're paying for. So one of the flanges that I just showed you, I want to kind of show you what it looks like. Sometimes when we do metal roof, we want to make it really cool. We want to make a one piece if we can, instead of having all these pieces with all these fasteners that can be potential leaks. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here's that same piece of metal. Now, what's interesting, this is all one piece. So it goes around, hooks, comes up, goes back, folds, comes back down. And then we put a lip here so when they do the window, they can put their trim underneath here and it'll look really, really nice. Now, this is what's crucial right here. So see how we have this flange? We want this to go all the way up underneath here. So we're going to get underneath this wood. We're going to bring another piece of flashing over this so that if the water ever gets behind here, it'll come right back out. So a lot of times there's leaks behind these uh, on your uh, house here. And then the water runs and goes behind the flashing and goes inside. And you're going to call and say, I've got a roof leak. And you actually have a leak in your dormer up underneath. So we want everything to overlap properly. So the way that this is right now, it's not finished and it needs to have a better overlap. So it's going to go up and under the underlayment that's up behind the, the wood here. So these are steps that your roofer needs to take to protect you as a homeowner, building owner, and you can't see these steps from the ground. So we want to try to get some of that information out there so that you guys kind of understand roofing a little bit better so you know what to expect when you hire a contractor to put your roof on. Once again, dormers are notorious for leaking, so we want to take all those steps, those problematic areas, and fix it. And I kind of just wanted to show you guys what that looks Here's another dormer. Man, it looks really, really nice. There's a lot of work left to do here, but that transition area is beautiful. What's interesting about that is you can't see that from the ground. But like we talked about in our previous videos, we still want to take every effort that we can to make it really nice. So we're proud of it. And that's really important. So if you want to talk about metal roofing, think about dormers, problematic areas. What is your contractor doing in those areas to ensure that you don't have any problems in the future?